everybody welcome back to my channel Angela here again just to bring you a little video for Sunday I hope that you're all keeping really well um it's definitely the weather forecast just to give you an update is uh, quite dismal here today quite dark I had to wait a little while just to give this um video the best chance of picking up the best light so I'm going to get straight to it we're going to do our first little project for our sunflower journal today and I am very happy to say that I've managed to print on both sides and sorted out all my problems with my computers and printers and everything so thank you for bearing with me with that right now it is a little envelope uh, project and you know I can't resist and I was just playing around when I was on the phone uh, the other day and I just put this together quickly as I sat there talking. So I hope you're going to enjoy it because I really like how it works uh, all together. And really, it can be a little project on its own, um, but it's going to look perfect on one of the pages in our Sunflower Journal. All right, so let's get to it. What do you need? Um, I have just taken a mailer. This is just one of the mailers that I have received in the post. It's even got a little tear there. Don't worry about that because we fix that all up. Um, it is one with a window. Um, and guys, if you don't have one with a window, you can make a window. And if you have an American one where it's got the two windows, cut out around the two and just put a little bit of the um, packaging or a little piece of vellum or you know acetate any film that packaging um, uses anything like that and just create your own size if it's not what you want there's nothing wrong with the two window envelope either I like those as well all right so we're going to use this I'm going to give you some measurements for it um, and I'll show you what I did with this one so that you know how to um, work with yours all right so um, the measurements for this are nine and a quarter inches across so I think that is uh, yeah 23 and a half centimeters and this way we're looking at uh, 16 centimeters or six and a half inches so nine and a half by six and a half, 16 by 23 and a half. All right, so that's what we've got there. Um, guys, just use what you have. It's not crucial about having these exact sizes. I would prefer it that you just go and use what you have. All right, now what I want to do is I want to open the two sides here. So I'm just going to use my craft knife. Um, you are welcome to use a pair of scissors or your trimmer, whatever you prefer. Just taking a little um, sliver off each side here just to open this up all right so that's all I've done and I'll put that craft knife down now right so what we have now is an open bit and it's just the bottom section where this is um, joined all right so that's what we have here now I've got my measurements folded on another one so I'm going to put this one aside so that I don't have to waste too much time giving you the measurements all right so the first thing that you're going to do here let's just put this one aside I think and then get this so this is the same thing I've just got a lot of writing and folds on this one so you've got your bit folded in half just with the two sides um opened up like that and the side that you don't have the window on so you might have your window here um, but whichever side it is that you don't have your window on we're going to fold that up now we're going to fold up one and three quarter inches from that edge there inwards or four and a half centimeters okay so that's what I did I just took that over I did it randomly but then I measured it afterwards it just comes up underneath that window there all right so that's what I've done you can use your bone folder just to burnish that and then what I've done is I've I've pretty much divided this into three that's the original fold line of the envelope but that doesn't matter because we will be covering that up so I've divided um, this into three and I'll give you the measurements here so from the edge of the actual um, top of the envelope um, I have folded in 4.25 inches I've done that all the way down so effectively I've taken my envelope and divided it into three equal sections so there's two fold lines there one at the 4.25 mark 
and one at the eight and a half inch mark all right all four not point two five there and four point two five there um in centimeters that's ten point seven um ten point seven and ten point seven okay so that's what we have there and then effectively um you can use your scoreboard to do this you can just take a ruler and do that um i have this board which really is handy so it i'm able to line these up very um nicely on here and just use the lines on here all right so it's just a case of lining that up like that running your bone folder i would do it with this down um, and getting those fold lines in on the two lines as discussed. Okay, so it will be 4.25 on in on that side, 4.25 on that side, or 10.7, 10.7 centimeters. So let's do that. So we've got that, and you're folding this one in, and you've got the same on this side, and you're folding that one in like that. All right, and then we are able. We've got a little bit of a trifold going on here. Right. Now what we want to do is we want to decorate this up and turn it into something beautiful. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my distressing. I'm using my uh, vintage photo. Um, use what you normally use. I just want to, um, because this is blue and it's not really what I want to see, I'm just putting some ink on the fold line so that when I put the paper on, I'm not going to have too much blue showing through. All right, so that's just an individual choice, but um, that's what I like to do. So, yeah, I'm so excited to get going with this um, sunflower journal. The journal, um, I had a, qu a question this morning about um, the Christmas kit and journal i am almost done with the christmas kit i hope to launch it at the end of october um so just two weeks away um and then i hope to do a journal with that in november so that's the plan for me all right and you're welcome to follow along as well okay so we've got that done now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the front here um you can turn that back in um, I want to start with this area here. So I think let's just fold it up. That's the middle. We want to turn that one in first, like that. And this one in after there, like that. All right, so you can just burnish that nicely with your bone folder on all sides. And it's going to be nice and flat. Right, so what I've done is I have taken the green gingham sheet. It's got the sunflower bit at the end there. Um, but what I've done is I've cut it so the sunflowers would have been here. I've got a little bit of the writing. So that's how I've done it. I've just measured all the sides there like that. And I'm going to stick that down like this. All right. Now, as usual, I have just taken my pencil. I hold held this down in place, lifted it up and worked out where I wanted to um, have my window the window goes slightly higher but I have um, kept an inch there um, to cover down I wanted the writing just to peek out and not chop it off all right so and that I'm going to stick down just over here all right I think what I'm going to do and I'll probably fast forward this um, just want to give this a little bit of distress so that it's not um, stark white looking at me either um, sometimes I have nice ivory envelopes that come in the post or I buy or I use I have some that I've bought before and then it's not so stark white which um, I don't have a problem with white but not for this project okay so there we've got that done um, and we can go and stick that down so I will open it up just so that I don't stick it onto anything behind all right and I am loving the colours in here. And thank you guys for all your beautiful comments. I appreciate that so much. I know that everybody's very excited um, to, to create a sunflower journal. And there are beautiful um, flowers, aren't there? Such happy flowers, I think. You know? So, 
I think that they um I think they are autumn but they're they're summer as well so I, I'm not sure if they're very seasonal or whatever I don't know that much about sunflowers to be fair other than I like them <laughs> I've never grown any so we'll have to ask the lovely ladies in the group that um, do grow them I know Jessica does and I think Jen you do as well so you'll have to tell us right so we we've got that stuck down that was easy right and then I'm going to use some of those die cuts that you know I love to use because I just want to decorate this front bit up a bit now I've got um this tartan ribbon tartan listen to me gingham ribbon <laughs> that I got from Plum Boutique and I am going to put a list in my Facebook group with the actual names on the photograph I did promise so I will do that just cut again giving that a nice clean edge I want to just put a little bit of this down at the bottom there now guys you can follow along with whatever ribbon you have you don't have to have what i have you know this is just what i have but of course you're welcome to get it if you want to but i just like everyone to know that it's not a must you know it's just what i'm using all right so let's get that all down i hope you're all well <laughs> um there are so many colds and flus going around so i hope everybody is well um you know that is a worry for all of us all right so there we go oops look at that yes i'm liking it okay then i have just got um this little one it's probably a daisy but i just like it and i've cut it out in a very soft um yellow um, and I'm going to put that just over here. So let's do that. Looking forward to Christmas, are you? Tell me what you guys do for Christmas. I'd like to know. Um, do you have any special traditions? Um, anything like that with the family? Things that you do? That's always nice. I like traditions. Right, so we've got this going on. It's I like it a little bit over, I think. A little bit over, so we'll just stick it there. And we'll just tilt that a little bit over that window. There we go. So we've got that going on. Right, then I've got, and I said to you, um, I love these leaves. I don't know if you can see, but these are there's one that's slightly lighter green and one that's slightly darker, just for a bit of depth. So I'm going to put that one slightly. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see me. I think I must just move this up a bit. Um, I'm going to put that one slightly over, and I don't mind that it's going to peek over there at all. And then I'm going to put that one like that. All right. So let's do this one first. Now, I have been a bit behind on my messages, guys. Um, I am sorry about that. Um, it's from when I was ill. Um, and I'm trying to catch up. Um, so if I haven't answered you for a few days on, well, there's sort of six different areas I get messages on. YouTube, Instagram, Messenger, Facebook, Etsy you name it so email so those are the six so I, i'm sorry i do have a lot of messages and i can only commit to x amount of hours a day i draw the line at um three hours a day so i'm sorry about that i need to find a better way of dealing with that um but yeah i do spend three hours a day doing replying to people and i love that but um I feel bad when I'm not replying within a day or so, so I do apologise. Um, I try my best to get around to all of you. Um, right, so we've got our little leaves. Okay, there we go. Isn't that looking lovely? I'm loving it already. Just want to put a little bit more glue down here. And we'll... Just put that in my glue stand right and then i have got the fussy cut that i gave you guys um this little sunflower 
going to just put some glue on that one as well and then we'll be layering it up on the front here oh my gosh i'm working on a couple of other things that are going to complement this kit which are um in the pipeline so i hope that i managed to get through all these things <laughs> fingers crossed okay so that's what we've got there then this is just one of the butterflies you can get this in my kit my butterfly kit um if you want to right so this one we'll just put i think just over here i just like that one it looks brings a bit of white into it doesn't it and then this is just one of my sunflower sentiments um and i do love the sentiments Bright sunflowers never fade, yes. It's a bit like don't put baby in the corner, yeah? <laughs> right, so we'll just put that down as well. And we are doing well. So that one I'm going to just put sort of halfway um, over the ribbon here. And because I've got these little lines, I've got to be making sure that I get it straight. Okay, so there we've got our little window bit all done. And I'm quite happy with that. Oh, oh, that one's not stuck too well. Right, so that one's looking great. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go and do the inside. It does look messy with the brown, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to open that up because it'll just be easier. And then what I have done is I have got a little window that's going to go over there. Um, let me just grab it quickly um, using the background papers and what I did was I have drawn um, where to cut out the, the window for here All right so I've done that and the way I did that and I should have shown you before but is before I stuck that down I lined it up with um, it goes like that uh, with the, the one underneath this one that I had already cut out I put them on top of each other and then I was able to draw through that window opening on this side. All right, so put them the right way as you will have them in here. And then that window showed me exactly where to cut this window. So I thought I'd mention that just to as a little tip so that if you need to cut out a window, you know how to go about that easily. And, you know, even though I have a die cutting machine, I tend to go with my um craft knife and ruler to do this i find it easier so i'm just going to do that again now so it's easy when it's on the underside so you can see exactly where you need to cut um and to be fair i keep saying craft knife but this is not actually a craft knife this is a hardware store standing knife so <laughs> And let me tell you, I've had it for years from my scrapbooking days and phew, can't go wrong. It is just the best. Okay. Oh, so I just made a little bit of a faux pas there. There we go. Sorted. Right. So we've got that done. Um, and we will use that for a tag or something, I'm sure. Let me put it into the... Uh, scraps box um, and then you can just um, put a little bit of distress ink on there right since I have been seeing the most amazing projects in the Facebook group if you're not a member come and join us if you'd like to share and you know partake you're welcome to um, do that. I am now going to just stick this down here. And you can see that's a perfect fit there. So what we will do is we'll just take our glue here. Go close to the edges. I'm not going to stitch this. So um, I want to make sure I get that glue really close to the edges because I don't want it to peel, you know, and come undone. All right, so oh, I keep turning it the other way. Right, now we want to make sure we don't get it into the fold line there. So just be mindful of that. And like this, I think I've got it 
correct let's just lift that up and that's fine it's not um not in the wrong place so oops we don't want glue on our window just take my wet one and get that off oh it's underneath <laughs> it's underneath right so we've got that one done okay um now in the middle one i actually um used something from my last um project which was a scrap so um but i liked how it all went i've used this lovely okra color which was from my autumn journal i am going to stick that in the middle here just checking that i i haven't got it too um yeah that's all right all right so we'll, we'll stick this one in the middle over here this one doesn't have any windows or anything so it's much easier to do a lot of the journal pages sort of blend together and work with each other and it adds interest into this new kit as well again i'm very mindful of the fold lines and i think that one's perfect there loving this bone folder linda oh it's nice really good quality love it look it's got a little bit of bling right so we've got that one down and then the last one here uh, another one of the background pages and we're going to stick this one just um over here as well all right so i think again just going to go across here like that and across here as well okay right guys so we'll get this one down as well okay that's looking great okay so we've got those three bits there these are uneven but we are going to fold this up and you're not going to see anything there so what i suggest is is just to run some glue um just on the end on either side of this fold line here um not the middle because that's the <laughs> the original envelopes fold line um and then obviously on each end as well now you can um this one just needs a bit of uh, sticking down there which is just the flap okay so we've got that there and now we are able to stick that up like that now you can go and stitch around this of course you know there's nothing wrong with that um just make sure that you get that nicely stuck down i mean this art glitter glue is really strong all right um now while i'm at it i'm and that's drying i'm going to stick something on here now if you were going to do this as a standalone not to go into your journal and perhaps send it as a lovely happy mail for somebody i would put a panel on that one as well all right so i'm not going to do that today because i'm going to stick this into my journal all right so i will this is the part where i will be sticking it down but this bit here is going to be the back flap so you've got this like that and you're going to have that like that so i wanted something there um, and it's going to be this so as you can see this is the bit from the same piece i had earlier and you can see that i've i've taken it from there all right so now you can see how i cut it okay so um this bit's going to go onto this bit here so i'm going to get that stuck down as well all right so I just see that I've got a little bit there that I want to cut off. I'm going to just do that with my scissors. It's just a little bit of the blue sticking out there. And I just want to make sure that that comes off. So I'm just trimming that there. Okay. Um, and like always, I always just put a little bit of that on there just to take any white that might arise. All right. So we've got all the bits covered that we wanted as far as the sides concern now i'm going to just cover these bits here um so let's start with the first one um, i'm using this gold um 
piece of paper I gave to my um, group a while back now. Um, and I thought I'd bring a little bit of font into this. Um, so that's great. I'm liking how this is coming together now. And you know, sometimes you want some neutral pages. Right, so I do like this one. You just make sure your font is the right way before you um, stick it down. So that's that's something to remember. All right, and I have um, not ruined that there. So we'll stick all of those down. Let me do that quickly. So I've got another one there and I've got another one here. So I'm just making sure I've got these the right way. And I think I do. Okay, so let's get that down. Now, uh, my daughter was uh, uh, treated me last weekend to a lovely pedicure. Because um, I don't know if you know my daughter, um, she's studying to be a beautician. So she's in her second year now. So I get to be the guinea pig with all sorts of things. So she does my nails and uh, for me, most occasions. And... Um, she did my feet and it was so wonderful because I just had been ill and, you know, there's nothing nicer than having a nice pamper day when you're not feeling great, <laughs> bless her. And uh, we bought a little paraffin wax melter for um, to dip your feet into this lovely mol molten wax, paraffin wax. And it smells beautifully beautiful. Um, I think it was orange flavor, citrus. Um, and she did the whole treatment and then dipped my feet in wax. And I had like these little booties on. Oh my gosh. And my feet feel wonderful. Oh, so lovely. I'm very lucky. I've got a son that sorts the computer out and a daughter that does the pampering. I mean, I think I'm very blessed. <laughs> So, yes, if you're feeling um, like you need a bit of pampering, definitely go and get a lovely pedicure. Um, I am very lucky. My uh, daughter did it, does it for me, and she said she'll do it every second week. So I'm so happy about that. I feel very lucky. Right, I now I'm going to take a piece of that gingham, which is pretty much this one here. Uh, I've cut off a bit that was over and I'm going to just stick that just just two squares wide I'm going to stick that just in the middle of this one here. So not a fancy um, Decoration we're keeping it pretty plain Okay, so we've got that one and then on this one I'm using the yellow so I, I use the yellow um, strip I think I must just trim a little bit off the edge here. Just a little bit. There we go. That's it. So I've got that one. Let's make that nice and smooth, right? And then obviously, as you can see in, in with the theme, I've got the aqua one as well. So we'll just stick that one down on the end here. I do like these little projects that have multi-purposes where you can, um, you know, use them in your journal, but also gift them as well. So and they can somebody can stick it into their own journal as well. Right. So what I've got then, I'm going to stick one of the sentiments again in the middle here. So this one says, turn your face to the sun, just like a sunflower. Oh, it's lovely to have your face turned to the sun, so lovely and warm, especially in this season we're going into. But I would imagine wherever you are, because it's either spring or autumn, so it's not really hot at the moment. Is this the middle? Yeah, so I'm going to just stick that one there in the middle. Love my quotes. Right. And then I've got one of the butterflies here. So I've got this one. And I'm going to just glue that across the gingham tab on the left, I think. So we'll do that. And I'm putting it in the middle. Just seeing now. I'm, I'm winging it. 
All right, so we've got that there. And then I'm going to stick another butterfly on the other side here. So it's one like that, which is too cute. I do like this one. So, yeah, if you're looking for these butterflies, um, they are on my butterfly digital. So is this it? I think this is it here. Right. So there we go. We've got those decorated. Not overly fancy. I think the front's really um, the fancy bit. So we've got those pockets done. Now, just for the other side here, over here, I've taken from my add-on kit one of these little gingham pockets. Um, and I've folded those uh, on the score lines that you meant to. I've scored it. And that's ready to go um, onto this little section over here. Perfectly sized. So... Um, I'm going to just put that together like that and we can just stick that down like that all right so we've got a different kind of pocket there and as I said that one we are going to um, use as a uh, place to stick down in the journal itself I'm just making sure that everything's lying properly here so I'm just making sure that I haven't got anything that's not going to lie flat here. And then that is, you can see it's slightly sh shorter there. And then this one will go like that. Right. Okay, so what I want to do now is um, I want to put some goodies in here. Now, obviously, I want something to stick through the window. So let me show you what I've put together here. I've I've cut out the large tag. I've used very thin ribbon here. So these ribbons all come from Plum Boutique. I'll put the link in the description box below. I've used very thin and flat closures here because I don't want it to bulk up this trifold. Um, and I'm going to put these goodies in. These all come from my these come from my add-on kit. These come uh, and that. These come from my ephemera kit. All right. So I've sewn them. Put them onto um backed on them onto card. This one I've just put a little bit of this ribbon here, which is a tartan cotton ribbon. Um, and these are just other bits that I've got. All right, so I love this one because I've actually been able to layer it up because that's why I did the neutral and bring out some of the colours like that. So I like how that one's turned out. I'm gonna put that one into this pocket over here, and then um that one goes at the back, I think. Um, just getting my act together. <laughs> this goes in over here. Um, I can't remember now what I had in here. I think it was the small one. The small one goes in the back there. And then um, I was going to put this in here as well. But it might be too much, really. I think let's try it in this one. I think it's too much, really. But I'll see how it goes. So I've got two there. And then um, this beautiful one, I'm actually going to turn. Oh, that's what I'm going to do with that. So we'll have that one over here. Like that. And we'll put this one this way into that pocket there. And that's going to um, peek through the window. All right. And then this one can go this way. That's what it is. This one's going this way. All right. So we've got all our bits in there. And that would make a beautiful gift for somebody. Now, we just want to close that up like that. You want to close it up like that. And there you've got a nice little folio to go into your journal. Now, if you wanted to gift this for somebody or, or not, this is a beautiful gingham ribbon, ribbon that I got from Plum Boutique. And it's like chiffon. Um, this would work really well on here. I'm going to just take a little bit more off here um, and I might actually just stick this on here all right so now the way to keep that um, the see what a beautiful gift that would make now if you are going to do that as a gift this is the part time where I would stick something over the back there um, so that's easily done but what I'm going to do only because it's going to stick in my journal I am going to put some tape on here now as I said if you were going to gift this for somebody um, you can cover the back um, and then you would first stick the ribbon on and then cover the back 
All right, so let's just get the middle bit here. There we go. So I've got it. And then like that. And then we can just stick that straight across there like that. All right, so now it's not going to come off. Um, and now when you put it in your journal, you're able to tie that up, which I'm going to do in a sec. All right, so let's have a look here quickly. We've got our lovely layering bit over there. I love how that looks. You open it up. You've got your tag at the back you can write on, your lovely journal card. You've got your baby tag here, so it's not covering that sunflower. Um, and then you've got those other two in there as well. And, of course, you could put other bits in there as well. But I really love how that's come together. Um, and then you can just close that all up. Your ribbon is here to keep it nice and flat. So we can just do that quickly. I'll show you where it's going to go um, in the journal. All right, so I'll, I'll faff with the bow later, guys. Um, so there we go. And then... If I just grab the journal next to me here, um, you can see that I've got all the pages ready printed. And if we go to the back, um, I have taken one of the tea stain pages here. Um, I have used my bundled sage. So I've used this one and I've just distressed a little bit there. Um, and I'm going to end up sticking this uh, like that in my journal. All right, so that's it for today. I did have a little thought when um, I was faffing around yesterday. And I did think to myself, oh, should I put make a tab to go on there? But if I was giving this as a gift, I probably would. But I thought it had enough on for the moment. All right, everyone, so I hope you've had fun um, following along with me. Um, go make one of these. It's not hard. You can go and repurpose one of those mailers. Remember, you can cut out a window if you only have the two thin ones like you get in the US. Um, so just recut the window for one that is going to suit you. Um, and, you know, that works a charm. Just use those thin film that comes with any of the packaging that you buy when you buy things from the craft store um, and that's going to work perfectly all right so enjoy the rest of your sunday have a lovely time crafting thank you so much for your wonderful support and kind words i do appreciate them ever so much i look forward to see what you're going to make and post in the facebook group um, and i'll see you guys all very soon thank you guys Bye bye